So the next thing is um, a thing a joint convergence in distribution. Uh, so reconvergence and convergence in probability. If we have you know multiple random variables, one is convergence in distribution, the other is convergence in probability. What is the joint distribution? Is it converge in distribution? Uh, and and for this case, it is true. So if x n converges to x in distribution. Y n converge to a constant c in probability, um, then we have the joint distribution of x n y n will converge to the limiting uh, distribution y n and c. And uh, uh, so to prove that, we also need uh, we're going to also uh, use a portmanteau po po lemma. And um, so let's say. But this time, the f is is uh, with two parameters. Uh, so let f be a any bounded continuous function uh, by the Pomerantz lemma. Uh, so it's so so by the Pomerantz lemma, Pomerantz lemma expected value f. F x n with constant c. Now we are looking at uh, a joint uh, parameter of x n c, not x n y n. Uh, so this is just because you no know, one parameter functions. Uh, we will definitely converge to uh, the limiting uh, expected value. Uh, so that's by the uh, Pomerantz lemma because x n converges to x in distribution. Therefore, we have x and c converge to x x c in distribution. Uh, and so, so if we look at so by then, if we now see the joint distribution of x and y n, uh, let's look at this the set omega that is absolute value of x and y n minus x and c. Right, so that's the set of omega when we when we minus and the absolute value of that, uh, then because x n minus x n is just zero, and uh, and y n minus c, so that becomes the set of omega that y n minus c. Um, so I, so this uh, greater than epsilon will just be the same as as y n minus c greater than epsilon, and that will be uh, we know that y n y n converges c in probability, so we know that the joint distribution of this one x and y n will converge to x n c uh, will converge to x c in uh, it will converge to x n c in probability. Right, so that's that's the second term we we uh, we we concluded conc concluded, and the first term we concluded in uh, just before. Uh, so if we look at these two things we we have concluded, we have actually comes to uh, that you know basically reminds us the the theorems that we proved early that if we have a random variable random vector this time uh, converging in distribution another one converge in probability then if you plus these two together plus this one and this one when this so this one plus this one uh, when we plus that so this is cancel out what we left is just x and y n this will converge to this converging distribution to this one right so that's what we have proved early and that's that's exactly what we want to prove, right? We, by doing by these two conclusion, we have just shown we have shown that x and y n converges in distribution to x c. Now with that, we can now introduce the Slutsky theorem. Uh, so it's a combination of this joint convergence distribution. We're going to use that to to conclude a, a general general distribution convergence in Slutsky theorem. Um, so what the Slutsky uh, theorem tells us is that if xn converges to x in distribution, 
1m converts to C in probability and Zn converts to D in probability, then we have Zn plus Yn times Xn. So Yn is converging in probability, Zn, Xn converge in distribution. This will converge in distribution to its limiting distribution. And if C is now 0, then the other way is Zn plus Xn divided by Yn will converge to D plus X divided by C in distribution. So as we see, so to prove that we have we have we, we're gonna use the John convergence in distribution. Uh, so we know that in, from the John distribution, John convergence distribution, we know that this X and Y N, the John distribution of X and Y N will converge to X C in distribution. And uh, we we know that you know the function that you know x plus x times y or x divided by y are continuous uh, for y if it's now y y is now zero in the, in, in this case then we can use the continuous mapping theorem now we can use the continuous map so let's let's review the continuous mapping theorem it tells us that if g is a measurable function that has that has uh, measure zero on discontinuous points uh, then f um, then we then gx converts to uh, g infinity and and the expected value will converge as well so that's that's the that's the uh, continuous mapping theorem and by using that we uh, we now know that y n times y n times x n will converge to cx uh, and y n times x n uh, so y n divided by xn will converge to, this is a, this is typo here, so y divided by xn will converge to x divided by c. All right, so that's that's using the continuous mapping theorem. So we have something converging in distribution, we have a continuous function, and and by by the continuous mapping theorem, we have that, con that convergence in distribution in multiplication case and, and and division case. Then we we'll, so that's what we concluded. Then then y n times x n and the, the joint distribution of y n times x n with z n, which will converge to uh, c x d similarly, and same for y n times x n uh, with z n the joint distribution will converge to x c d in distribution uh, and and x plus y the function x plus y is a continuous function now we we then another again use the continuous mapping theorem we concluded the last thing uh, of these two uh, convergent distributions so the plus is continuous and by the continuous mapping theorem this will converge to that so that's the Slutsky theorem. Uh, 